Timing sprints with a stopwatch has been around since forever, but it is on one hand a bit inaccurate and it also puts the attention of the coach on a stopwatch instead of on the running athlete. Now if you as an athlete run with a stopwatch, your running gait will also be altered because of it and this way errors might slip into your technique. And this is where Freelapse timing systems come in to solve that problem. They have been around for a while and their timing cones and chips have been explained in quite a few videos here on YouTube. But over the last year there have been some hardware and software updates that make it even easier to use. That's why for this video we'll go over the full 2023 Freelab product line and our thoughts on them. That way you can make an even more informed decision if this will help you in your training sessions or not. Now Freelab is a Swiss company that sells timing systems and accessories for different sports like skiing, mountain biking and track and field sprinting. For this video we'll only be focusing on their track and field sprinting devices. The main Freelab products are the TX Junior Pro Cones and the FX Chip BLEs. In addition, you can use the TX Touch Pro or the new e-starter cone for a more accurate start. And if you really want to go all out, you can even get a LED display to view your times. For starters, let's discuss the TX Junior Pro. It takes two AA batteries to power one TX Junior Pro. You just rotate the plastic disc so the lid comes off. You put in the batteries and you are good to go. Now I'm not really a fan of how close the lid comes to the edge of the cone because it makes it very difficult to rotate. Now the most difficult part is still to come. As you can see I made a DIY solution for quickly removing the batteries because this piece of curb plastic makes it so the batteries are tightly locked in place but it makes it also a pain to remove them. I don't know if it is because of me but I was afraid I would pull the battery case from the cone and break the whole system. That's why I wrapped an elastic rope around the battery so it could be more easily detached. With the batteries in place you turn on the cone by pressing the on button and then a green light will start flickering. There are three modes, the start mode, the lap mode and the finish mode and once the cone is turned on you just tap the on button again to switch from start mode to lap mode or to finish mode. Depending on where you want to use the cone you will use one of these three modes. The start mode is most often used if you want to give the athlete a certain distance to build up speed before you start timing. The lap and finish mode speak for themselves as they will either take a split slash lap time or finish the time measurement. The cones are water resistant up to 3 atm but they are not waterproof so light rain won't be a problem but make sure to keep them out of a heavy storm. But you probably won't be running in that weather anyway. The cones have a one and a half meter detection field so you can have an athlete run in the left and in the right lane and you'll have both athletes times measured. The minimum distance between two cones must be 10 meters so you can do a speed profiling test with a 60 meter or 100 meter sprint test and place a cone every 10 meters and 80 centimeters. Now you might ask yourself why the 80 centimeters extra? Well that is because of the measuring field of one and a half meters. If you start at a 100 meter start and place a cone exactly at a 10 meter mark the chip will be detected 80 centimeters before the 100 meter mark. So make sure to always take that into account if you want reliable measurements. Secondly you have the FX chip BLE. These are the Bluetooth chips that are meant to be worn by the athletes. You can easily clip them on your shorts or tights. These clips are going to track the time and they will communicate with the TX Junior Pros on when to take the split time or when to start or end a timing. These chips run on CR2032 batteries that can easily be replaced once the battery is empty. The battery level however can always be checked with the FDM app which we explain in a different video that you can find in the description just like the video on how to swap a battery. Freelab claims that the battery will hold for 2000 hours but in all honesty I have had to already swap some of the batteries after far less time. The chips are accurate up to two hundredths of a second and they can hold up to 10 laps or split times. They are also water resistant up to 5 ADM, so a bit more resistant than the cones. And finally they can operate in a heat range from minus 20 degrees up to 50 degrees Celsius, which is minus 4 to 122 degrees Fahrenheit. On to the next thing, the TX Touch Pro. These flat discs are used as a start button. You just put your thumb on the play button and the green LED will light up and after a second it will start to flicker. This means that the Touch Pro is ready to be released. Once you let go of the button you'll hear a beep to notify you that your time will start. The TX Touch Pro also runs on a CR2032 battery and they claim, I haven't tested this, that it should be able to last a thousand or more starts. If the battery somehow runs out 
you can just unwind the screws and pop in a new battery. Now we did have quite some problems when we let athletes run with these from a three point start. Especially when they had a large stance and the chip was too far from the TX Touch Pro to receive a starting signal. This error however was far less when they started from a block start position. Now these errors might be something from the past with the newest product to the lineup, the E Starter. This new cone has a speaker built in that signals the ready, set, bang commands. To use it, just press the button on top and you'll have 10 seconds to prepare yourself. After that, you'll hear the set command and after that, there is a 1.5 to 2.5 second interval before the starting signal goes off. The e-starter has a rechargeable battery that connects via a magnetic USB cable and lasts about 50 hours, with an automatic shutdown after 1 hour. Just like the Teak's Junior Pro Cone, it is water resistant up to 3 ATM. Besides that, there is not really that much to it, but in comparison to the Teak's Touch Pro, it is important to note that your recorded times will be slightly different because the e-starter will incorporate your reaction time within the measurement, where the Teak's Touch Pro will not. The final product is the LED display, which speaks for itself. It's a display that will show the times that you or your athletes have ran. Now, to be honest, I do not really see a point in getting one of these, because thanks to the easy to use My Free Lab application, you can turn your Android tablet or iPad into an easy to use display. Now, if you ever want to know all about the My Free Lab app or the Free Lab device manager app, click one of the videos on the right.